Winning Cures Everything NFL Big Games Preview for week number six. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can find all the information on the six wonderful sports books. That's Horseshoe, Gold Strike, Hollywood, First Jackpot, Fitz Casino, Sam's Town. You can find all that information over at TunicaTravel.com. They got everything you need right over there. You can find all of the information that you need as far as these games go at winningcureseverything.com. We got everything you need, including a football picks contest. Go get your 10 games in, knock that thing out, put in your tiebreakers, email address, your name, so that we can actually contact you. Because we've had some people decide to not put uh, their name or they will give me like a fake email address. Hey man, we're not gonna spam you. We're not selling you no. info. Like you, you gonna literally get... just going to Gary. Yeah, it's not even going to me and Gary. No, so it's just me. It's it's he's the trustworthy one. And all I'm doing is putting you on an email. I mean, list I might sell it so that I. <laughs> that's but why I'm holding it. That's why he. Gets um, it. But yeah, so we will send you out every Friday. We're gonna send out and let you know what we did that week. Give you all of our podcasts, our, our videos, and all that. That way, you can check it out if you forgot to check us out. Either way, it's basically just a reminder saying, hey, you might want to get in the picks contest this week. It's free. This week's contest, you're going to win two free nights at Hollywood Casino. You're going to win $100 to the steakhouse over at First Jackpot. You're going to win a $50 slot play to First Jackpot. It's not bad. Nope. It's, it's not be bad. a good deal. Pretty good deal. You get to spend a whole weekend, Friday and a Saturday night cost, over at... Cost you nothing. Yeah. All you got to do is play. Just come play. Uh, let's jump in. NFL big games for week number six. Game number one, this Big is game. an absolute no-brainer. Colossal game. Huge game. Absolute no-brainer here. The Chiefs at the Patriots. Patriots Biggest game of the season. Yeah, so far. Sunday night football. Uh, Sunday night football, it is, uh, look, Patriots are a three-point favorite. The over-under is 59.5. That's a big number for an NFL game. Sunday, 7.15 p.m. on NBC. Both teams have awful defensive stats. Both teams look really good on offense right now. That's right. Kansas City is 5-0 and straight up and against the spread. Correct. The Patriots are not that. Nope. Tell me how you feel. You're, you're the resident Pats, man. I, I feel. Like you just got back from Gillette. How, how they roll? No, no, listen, that place is going to be rocking. That place is going to be hopping. Man, if I hadn't just gone a couple of weeks back to back, I, I can't tell you that I wouldn't be on something smoking heading that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just telling you. I'm I'm posting up dual residency in Massachusetts. So I'm That's kind of what it feels like. I'm I'm not a, I'm not afraid to do it. The the Pats are a, just an absurd 24 and 8 against the spread against conference opponents the last uh, a few years whatever it is. Um that's I mean that's an absurd number. Listen, they've already lost two big games this season. I don't. I just don't. Were they, were see they them. even big games though? Uh, I mean, the Jacksonville game. The Jacksonville yes. game was a big game, and and the Lions game Probably was. Uh, but, but it was a Sunday was, night football game. It was Sunday night, prime time. Uh, they just they don't lose many of these games at all. Do you feel like maybe and it's October. Do you feel like maybe Bill might have given Matt that game? I he, no, he doesn't give anything to anybody. <laughs> That's that. I couldn't even contemplate so you, you that. You think they no, just I absolutely just think, got dominated by the I think by this. I think he always figures things out in September. He's messing with stuff throughout September. October gets here. Weather starts getting a little colder. He's ready to rock. And Bill does not lose in the month of October. Hey, what was what was the weather like? Perfect. Oh my gosh. Per, like, like perfect. Like, like what? Sixty eight degrees. Not a cloud in sight. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I mean, it. I don't for big boy like it doesn't get any more perfect light. Long sleeve T-shirt, done. Not to mention the Patriots got a, a couple extra days to right. to rest up and right. to do a little more research on these Chiefs. Long week. I'm I, look, man. I know I've been saying that Pat Mahomes is going to come back to earth eventually, but I haven't seen it yet. The, uh, he he did a little bit against the, the, uh, the Jaguars. Yeah, but the Jaguars have an elite level defense, and the Patriot has no pass rush whatsoever. Yeah, look, I don't. The only way. The way the Patriots are going to win this game is running the football, keeping it away from from Patrick Mahomes, keeping it away from Andy Reid, keeping it close, and letting Andy Reid make a mistake in the end of the game. Andy Reid's good at blowing teams out. He's not real good at coaching when the game gets tight. The The Patriots running game does look a lot better. Sony Michelle has, has shown up the last couple of weeks. 
Uh, White has has done some good things. No, those two guys are an unbelievable combo. Yeah, I um, I mean, look, the Patriots have the history. They they cover a lot. I mean, they Tom Brady's just a covering machine. Correct. But the Chiefs are five and zero against the against the number this year. That doesn't. But but no team stays that way. I mean, I agree with you. That's the thing. Is but I, no I, team goes undefeated against the spread. I feel like there are just a lot of people backing the Patriots because of that this week. I mean, am I am I crazy for feeling that? No, you're not. You're not. You can bet the Chiefs. You can you can like the Chiefs. That's okay. <laughs> you're like that's okay. You can be wrong. You can be wrong. You can be wrong. That's that's fine. that's totally um, fine. I'll tell you this. I'm not going to touch it. Wow, well, I will. But I know you but will. I, but I, but I, but I, you, I just, you bet yeah. the Patriots every week. That's right. Whether just, you like them or not. I, I ride with them. I can understand that. All right, next game up. Now, it, it, after that game, it's a whole bunch of like, maybe. Eh, okay. Listen, All I right. like the slate until we get to the last game. The last game is not a big game. It's not a good game. You, you think one way, which has changed your perspective of it, to the rest of the country, it's a garbage game. The other three? Well, I mean, to the rest of the country, like, they will be watching it because but we'll get to it. Game number two. Your Chicago Bears. My Chicago Bears. Your your Bruce Brothers. How many teams do you you got like six Listen, teams this year? I do. Yeah. No, I don't <laughs> like, have that you're many. Like, my Tennessee Titans. My oh, Cleveland no, no, no. Browns. Listen, my New England Patriots. Our <laughs> Tennessee Titans. Okay? That's true. That's true. The Browns and the Patriots are my team. I just love them. I'm never going to stop. They're I can understand. Complete it. different ends of the spectrum. And and you just jumped on with the Bears because you love Khalil Mack. Khalil and you Mack love, is uh, my uh, Smith. absolute hero. Yeah. And and Roquan Smith was my ride or die guy coming out of this draft. No, you you did no, say I'm, that. I'm I'm in on this Bears team. Anthony Miller hurt, not getting a lot of reps yet, but but he will. I was I was a big fan of the Bears before they started. Bears minus three at the Miami Dolphins. The over under forty two. It is a low number. Sunday, 12 p.m. It's on Fox. Um, look, I'll, I'll tell you this. The Bears defense, fantastic. Real good. The Dolphins offense, even when they were winning. They got issues. Yeah, even when they were winning, they were, they were not. I mean, they weren't putting up a whole bunch no, of points. they went ugly. Yeah, um, which which tells me they could win this game ugly. Oh, they like, could win this game, defense, but it's going to be ugly. Adam Gase will find a way to make Mitch Trubisky make mistakes. Yep. But I also think that Ryan Tannehill will make mistakes. Oh no, no. Well, he's he might not make mistakes so much as a big nasty monster would just be all up in his personal space. That's a, that's one thing I was going to ask you. O, over under five sacks for the Bears. Ooh, five's a lot. I know, but I still don't think that's enough. If if you told me over under three for Khalil Mack, I might push. That. All right, so well then let's just do over under four. Four sacks, I'd go over. Okay. As a team, I think they could get four. Okay. Or five. I think they would get five. I think five's a good number to set it at. I think they get more than that. I think I think the Dolphins are in trouble here. Uh, there's a reason the Bears are favored by three, traveling all the way down to Miami. Uh, the Bears the, look good. The negative on that is, is if Tannehill rolls out, he does a lot of running. They tackle him behind the line of scrimmage. It's not a sack if you consider him a runner. Okay, so how many how many tackles for loss? Oh no, that, over under that, seven. Oh no, yeah. Ten double digits okay. for running backs and and quarterback. Yeah. No, they're going to tackle for loss a lot. Okay, um, bam. So we we both kind of like the Bears here. Is this in your gambling picks? It's not in my gambling picks, but I do like the Bears. I do like the Bears here. The over under forty two is a low number. Um, With today's scoring, yeah, I I think I think they're going to go over the. 42. I'd, I'd probably go over the forty two. I mean, hell, if you know, I mean, if it's a twenty four to eighteen ball game, I mean, you're there. Yeah, you're there. Uh, let's jump into game number three, the Steelers at the Bengals. This is like the most non-normal looking two AFC North hatred teams that we've ever seen. Yeah, it's, it's strange. Uh, Bengals are minus two and a half. They are favored by two and a half. The over under 53. That's a big number for an NFL game. Um, I'll tell you this though. Uh, last week, you know, I, I got the, I got the Steelers over at 55 and a half. Just barely hit that thing. Barely. And they scored 40. Yeah, no, 40, but 41 to 17. So I, I got there, 58. Um, but anyway, so yeah, 53 here. 
It's a lot of points. Sunday, 12 p.m. on CBS. Uh, the Steelers are going back to Cincinnati. The Bengals will score more than Atlanta. The, the Bengals are 4-1, and one, and I think that the Bengals will hold the Steelers to less than Atlanta gave up. Oh, no, they're not but, giving up 40. But, I mean, we're talking 53 here. Uh, you're looking at a 31-28 ball game, something like that, and that would be uh, – no, that would be 63. Yeah, it would be a lot. Okay, I mean, we're talking more than that. But 31-28 doesn't seem out of the question here. No. So so you asked me a weird over-under question. I've got an over-under question for you. Okay. Bonte Burfick, first game back. Over-under, I don't know, 48 minutes before he gets thrown out of the game? <laughs> Uh, definitely under under forty eight. Definitely, uh, definitely well, under. B- before um, the third, the fourth quarter. Uh, well, how about this? How about uh, uh, over under like the first half, over under halftime before he gets his first roughing penalty? Oh no, that no, he's getting that in the first. I mean, he's setting the tempo. Yeah, I mean, that I think might that's probably going to be first quarter. drive, like first yeah. series. Yeah. Um, no, that one, that one's way easier than getting thrown out. I'm, I mean. I'm curious about the props. What? Who down in? So the lines this week are brought to you by Hollywood Casino and the First Jackpot Casino, Correct. both William Hill properties. Uh, they've got props, don't they? William Hill probably. Now I haven't gone down there and bet many props. Um, I would venture to say that William Hill Casino properties would have more props than everyone else, just because yeah. William Hill is kind of notorious for letting you. Kind of bet anything you want. Yeah, they they will gladly take your money. Yeah, they'll 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 come up with a line for something. Yeah, just go up how and you, talk to the attendant. How you feel about your boys on this game? Some my gambling picks. Okay, right. <laughs> it certainly is. It certainly is. It's in my gambling um, picks too. I bet we're going different ways. <laughs> I would guarantee it. You hate the Steelers. I know you do. That's all good. <laughs> uh, Bengals at home. They are four and one this year. The Steelers are two two and one. Uh, there's nothing wonky about this line. There's nothing crazy here. No. Like. Two and a half. Uh, the fact that it's under three lets you know that uh, that Vegas still has respect for the Steelers, um, but it is only you know it's two and a half. Uh, this will be a hate fest. Yeah. These two teams hate each other. Don't let anything fool you. Uh, this is like it, the AFC North is where the most rivalries subside. I believe the AFC, the NFC East teams probably hate each other more. They're just not uh, rarely. Uh, as, how about this? It's not as volatile. No, they're not as violent. Yeah. But those teams are never as physical as the AFC North. No. I mean, no, the Eagles, yeah. But the, Redskins the, this year, maybe. But you need all the teams. But you to need all of them to be like way. that. And, and the Bengals, the Ravens, the Browns, and the Steelers are yeah. all. Even when the Browns were bad, they still played all these teams tough. Yes. Yes, they certainly did. As um, opposed to now when they're good. <laughs> Let's move in game number four. The Ravens. Minus three at the Titans, over under forty one. That's a low, low number, but we we called that one. Uh, Sunday, three twenty five p.m. on CBS. I'm I'm not sure. This is in my game of picks. My, mine as well. Is it really? I can't believe we're betting on the same games. That's uh, we're starting to think too much alike. This is a little crazy. I don't know that that's um, normal. The Titans are an underdog at home. They uh they lost last week thirteen to twelve to the Buffalo team that the Ravens beat forty seven to three. Uh, now granted they are not the same team that they were in week one. Correct. Nate Peterman has not touched the field since the Ravens Correct. game. Correct. Um, and they were down so far at that point that I mean they just good gracious it was uh it was not good. Um, we've talked about this Titan teams before or Titans team before. They will drag you into the mud. They will make games ugly. Forty one may be too many points here. Especially when you saw the Ravens get stuffed by the Browns defense last week. Boom. Um, it, you, you called it. You, you said last week, this Ravens team is not the offensive juggernaut that, that people nope. said it was. Um, they haven't played a good defense yet. They played one. At least one. until last week, yeah. They played one, and that defense sent their butts home packing. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Uh, I do feel good about the Titans, but you will have to watch the gambling picks for that one. Uh, and you, you'll see that one. Just hit the subscribe button on YouTube. You'll find it. It's all good. Uh, if you're listening on the podcast. It'll be it, here in a minute. It'll be here in a minute. We'll get there. Game number five. You hate this game. God, this is a garbage game. Jaguars minus three at the Cowboys. Cowboys cannot ever be in the big games until they do something worthy of being in the big games. Over-unders 40 and a half. So that is less than the two that we said were like really low lines. I'm kind of surprised that this is at 40 and a half. I think it should, 
Like I the think the Cowboys can't get 200 yards of offense on bad teams. Why do you think they could get any offense on good teams? Sunday, 3:25 p.m. on CBS. I I just I have a feeling the Cowboys at home in this game. Uh, the Jags are just like I, I don't know what to make of them ever. I know they're a good defensive team, but eh. You know, I mean, they had over 500 yards total offense last week, but they turned the ball over five times. And I understand they were, playing, they were playing from behind. I get that. It's very but, simple to understand, actually. They're actually probably one of the easier teams to understand in the NFL. They can't play from behind. Blake is going to turn the ball over. He's going to make mistakes when he's either played from behind or the game gets close in the fourth quarter. He's going to lose the game. But how, how do you when they can front game? run, I, I think they're going to boat race them. I think they're going to get up by 14 and never give up a point. I think the Cowboys are garbage. I think they're one of the worst offenses in all of football, even with Dak Prescott. Is this uh, is this in your gambling picks? No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Damn right it is. <laughs> what was the uh, – the? by the way, your quote has, has taken off on YouTube. People love it. Like Jason Garrett, I'm going to fade his ass, or I'm going to fade yeah. him until they fire his yeah. ass. Yeah, yeah, just keep doing it. And guess what? They're never going to fire him. They're never going to fire not him. Not until the end of this We're going to be doing this 10 years from now, and he's going to still be on the sidelines. Just That ginger's going to turn a little gray, and he's just going to be still clapping his ass off, and it's just, I don't know what to do. That's fine. <laughs> it's okay. The, you make money off of him. The, uh, the metrics. Ezekiel Elliott, such a waste of talent there. Just such a waste. Just trade him. Trade him to Green Bay or somewhere where he can do something. The metrics on this say that the Cowboys should actually be favored by a point. So that's the only thing that kind of makes me go, That's fine. Eh, it's a little. That's fine. Your metrics are off. I, I mean, that's entirely possible. They're, ju- they're just off. This is, this is a garbage game. Well, let's talk about some honorable mention games. The game that should be on here for the number five spot. And, this is, I, and I swear this is not Homer pick from me. The Browns. Chargers game is Chargers, absolutely yeah. going to be nationwide one of the most watched games Sunday. Chargers minus one at the Browns over under 44 on that one. It is a noon kickoff in Cleveland. This is a um, game where not a kicker should ever touch the field except for on kickoffs and punts. And just go for it on fourth down. Every just time. go for it on fourth. Just play hard four and go Hugh? for two. You hear that? You hear that, Lynn? Yeah. Just go this. for this is This is a matchup of two incredibly talented teams that could not be coached more badly than they are being coached right now. So so which which coach screws up to lose on the game? Anthony Lynn. <laughs> Cuz he's going to put his kicker out there over and over again and I actually think Hughes to a point where he's just going to start going for it more. I can believe that. I, I know be, I mean I he believe, kicker won him last week. I be, yeah, but I think there was a chance that that kicker could have kicked a game-winning field goal and, and got released like five minutes later. I mean, he did miss an extra point that would have won the game in uh, regulation. Right. But, you know, either They're way. They're 5-0 oh if, if that Jamoke is just average. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about another Sunday game before we get to the Monday night and the Thursday night game. Uh, the Rams at the Broncos. The Rams are, what, seven-point favorites? Yep, seven-point favorite at the Broncos. This is in my gambling picks. 52-and-a-half. Same here. That's crazy. Man, we – we really got to stop. <laughs> like we we gotta we gotta start working together and like talking about these before we do them. We try not to talk because we don't want the other person to influence the other person's picks. Yeah, because but, uh, but we're if giving we're these seeing out, the same thing. These are the honest picks. Hmm. I, I'm going to tell you this: until Denver realizes the best quarterback on their roster is on the bench, that they're not going to be great. Uh, that's that's Chad getting Kelly. closer to happening. By the way. Uh, I I Case, Case Keenum, he went for 300 yards last week, but my gosh, they still got boat raced by the Jets. And I called that one. No, I, just, I told you it's they. It's just not good. Look, the. Uh, it, I mean, the Broncos are terrible against the spread. It's, it's But they're a good team. They're, they're, they're quarterback are they? away from being. I think they're a quarterback away from being a good team. And they gave up 34 points to the Jets last week. Well, I mean, their secondary is garbage, but. It's Which hard to play and, from and before the season, I thought their second door was going to be great. No, I never like, thought with Roby and everything. Was I, I thought they were going to be good. See, I didn't think of that. I thought there's. I think they got to get pressure. For some reason, Vaughn Miller has not had a good season. No. so far, no. But I think a lot of that might be the fact that the offense can't stay on the football. No, no, that's it. That's it. I promise you, if they just make the mood to Chad, 
that team gets just they get a they get a bolt of fire in their butt and they're going to play better. Next one up, uh, the Thursday night game, the Eagles minus three at the Giants Thursday seven twenty p.m. on Fox. That's the national game of the week. Uh, I mean, the Eagles lost at home to the Vikings last week. I think that might have just been uh, – uh, they might have been victims of circumstance because the Vikings had to have a win. Had to have a win. I don't like this Giants team whatsoever. I don't care if they're playing at home. The Eagles, they are now in a position where they need a win. Uh, the Giants have needed a win every week, and they still can't find one. They got one at Houston, but that's because Bill O'Brien – does what he does and they've got chaos going on with odell again they've given him a monster contract which was probably a gigantic mistake i do agree with that now he did come out and say like oh yeah we're brothers we got through it and that i, I still think like they may come out and tell the media that he's got a lot of crazy mm, man. I, yeah, oh he definitely does he's got a lot of crazy he definitely does i i'm gonna tell you this i think a seven and nine team is gonna win that division I think we're going to have a losing record going into the playoffs this year. You think the Eagles will have a losing record? I, somebody. I don't know that it's going to be the Eagles. Hey, yes, I think the Eagles will have a losing record, and I don't know that they're the team that's going to win that division. It wouldn't surprise me if it was the Skins. I mean, the Skins be lost right. to the Saints is not an ugly loss. A lot of people have lost to the Saints. Yeah, no, that's true. And some of them have lost really badly. Yeah, if you go into New Orleans on a Monday night, like it's it's – so it, it, it's about expected now. I don't. I don't know that that's a bad loss. Uh, well, I mean, who, who you like the there? Games. Who you like there? In what the Eagles game? Yeah. Oh, I'll be betting the Eagles. I'm okay. not putting a nickel on this Giants team. Uh, last game, the Monday night game, because we always cover Thursday and Monday night games. That's right. Uh, the 49ers at the Packers. The Packers are a ten and a half point favorite. It's Monday, seven fifteen on ESPN. Uh, Joe Tess is going to get to call an Aaron Rodgers game. That's uh, That should be fun, I would imagine. Packers shouldn't be a 10-point favorite to anybody in the NFL. That's kind of what it, like the metrics say this should be 7 or 8. Yep. Uh, and the 49ers kind of suck. I mean, now, don't get me wrong. This could easily go over 10 points. Oh, yeah. If, if they the 49ers. It. They shouldn't be a 10-point favorite to anybody. No, they, but if the 49ers turn the ball over five times like they did last week well, against yeah. the Cardinals, obviously the 49ers can lose by 10 to anybody. But but th this but, defense ain't as good as the Arizona's defense. But, I know Arizona's a bad team, but now what Packers would be funny, defense is not good. What would be really funny is if the, <laughs> if the Packers – and the 49ers both decide to have a turnover fest. Yeah. Because both of them were awful last week. Packers just missing field goals and fumbling the football away. And the 49ers are throwing interceptions and fumbling the football. I have so much money on the Packers under 12 games this year. I cannot tell you how happy I am with that. I just, was it under I just 12? Can't. Yeah, it was a big number. No, no, it was 10. It was 10. It was 10. Man, that's a, man, that was a long time I made that bet. Yeah. I don't know. That was, it, that was 10. It was 10. And so, because it was the same number as the Vikings, and, and, we, and I was and like, I'm "This still, is crazy." I'm still happy with it. And so, I, I after last week, I felt a lot better about my Vikings over ten. Yeah, I think they're getting things right. I think they're fine. I think I think they're looking all right. All right, that's going to wrap up our NFL Big Games preview for week number six. As always, it's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi. We've given you everything you need to know about being a winner. Go down to Tunica, put your action down on your favorite game. Whoever you like in this, we told you what you need to know. Go check that out. You can also check out over at winningcureseverything.com more information about this stuff. But, uh, yeah, go check out tunicatravel.com. Figure out which sports book you want to go to. they got six of them down there. Tunicatravel.com has got all the information. That's going to wrap up the NFL Big Games.